Thanks, Goose. Ninja Pizza Girl is a platformer created by Disparity Games, an Aussie indie dev studio mostly made up of family members who all worked on the game in their kitchen. Hey, it seems like food is not the only thing you can cook up in a kitchen then, Darren. <laughs> You play as Gemma, a pizza delivery girl who free runs her way across city rooftops to deliver her dad's best pizzas in record time. And that's the core of the game. It's about finishing levels as quickly as possible. And unlike other platformers, you usually won't fail for just missing a jump or taking damage from enemies. Yeah, I really liked how all the levels allow you to carry on when you make mistakes. This lets you focus on the flow of your running without taking you out of the action. Plus, if you perform well enough, some fat beats will kick in and Gemma's jumping and running abilities get better, making it all the easier to get that pizza delivered in record time. Yeah, this game is definitely at its best when you get a solid run. But soon you'll come across a whole army of pizza ninjas from a competing store who'll trip you up or hit you with trash to humiliate you and damage your pizza delivery street cred. Yeah, what's with these guys? Are they employed to just get in your way and laugh at you when you fall over? <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job here. Oh, maybe you should give them a pizza your mind, Bajo. <gasps> uh, negative. You should avoid those guys as much as possible. If they humiliate you enough, you'll just stop altogether and have to mash A to regain your confidence and get running again. I do feel like the ninjas and this mechanic slow the whole experience down a bit. For a game focused on speed and flow, it really takes you out of it. <laughs> I just want to go fast, Hex. Yeah, these mechanics do fit into the story, though, which I really liked. Over the course of the game, which is mostly told in this hand-drawn comic style, you find that Gemma really struggles with self-esteem and bullying. And you have to deal with that as a player, which I think adds a lot to the message of the game. In between levels, you can use in-game pickups to purchase TLC, short for Tender Loving Care, to make Gemma feel better about herself. These include things like chocolate and tea and even video games, some of which are real titles made by other Aussie studios. But why can't you buy pizza, Darren? Doesn't she like her dad's pizza? Would it not make her feel better? Maybe she's sick of it. Oh, that's a good point. I do think by the end of the story, which takes about three hours to complete, I didn't quite get the system, and it didn't really seem to impact gameplay much. Yeah, I didn't really get that either, so I just purchased alternate costumes and modifiers for the game. I like that you can make it so that all the enemies just compliment you as you run past. I wouldn't recommend playing this game using the first person modifier for very long, though. It made me feel a bit nauseous. Uh, I don't want to robo spew over all this food. No, Darren, uh, no, no, protect the food! Oh, well, uh, no, I'm fine. Uh, so, what are you two going to give it? Well, sadly, the game didn't stay fun for me for very long, but I really like the ideas here and that forgiving platforming style, so I'm going to give it two rubber chickens. Well, I think the positive message will make this a game that some spawnlings will get a lot out of. I mean, you get to just run and find your flow, it's a lot of fun, so I'm giving it two and a half rubber chickens. Yeah.